I was saying, I don't think we've spoken um, uh, certainly uh, since you've arrived at the club, uh, which was back in or mid June now. How, how are you settling in? Um, yeah, um, it's been a great time. Um, as you know, guys, I've been here since the first day. I really wanted to be here um, since the first day, so uh, it really has helped me to get to know my my teammates and and to and and the coaching staff. And it's really, it's really well. It's been really good so far, and I'm really enjoying it. Good, good, good. I mean, it, it, does it help actually? I mean, you, you mentioned you obviously had a, a bit of time uh, in terms of pre-season on the training ground before you kicked a ball against Cardiff. Did that help you kind of integrate your way into the squad and get to know one or two of the other players? Yeah, of course. Um, in, uh, in the beginning of the season, I knew that I had to go along from well, well, when I was in Ipswich. So as soon as I could get into a team and find the right team and uh, after speaking to Bonds and knowing that I'm feeling that this was the right place for me. I wanted to be here as soon as possible because um, the longer that I think, I, I believe that the longer that you are with your teammates, you have the chance of, of creating a, a stronger bond on and off the pitch. And, and I think that uh, that's important and it can help a player. So that's what I did. Did you know any of the players that are currently in the squad from, from previous clubs or you know get to know one or two of them before you arrived? Um, I knew uh, Jack Lancaster because I met him in summer uh, through uh, a common friend that we have, so I already knew him. And uh, the other players, I just knew them from playing against them. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to think right now. But I think that, yeah, the only one was Jack Lancaster and the other ones I just played against them. Yeah, and how did the move come about, this end? Obviously, because you, you probably would have been in a position where you came back to pre-season training initially and you thought, you know, you'd be, you'd be wearing an Ipswich shirt going forward and that was probably what was in your mind, you know, at that particular time. So how, how did the move come about? Yeah, so, um, as Bonds, and, yeah, as Bonds has said before, I guess, is uh, they've been wanting me for, for quite a long time. And um, when they knew that uh, I was available on loan, um, the option came about, and and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, and of course you had a spell on the sidelines last season. Uh, actually, not long after you'd signed for Ipswich, you picked up what looked like a bad foot injury, and that must have been a difficult one to deal with. So so soon after, you know, signing on the dotted line for them. Yeah, exactly. I was um, I arrived in such a good moment. Um, I was in a really good path. And it was it was really frustrating to um, two weeks of of signing for Ipswich Town. It was really frustrating to get that injury because then it really made it really difficult for me to get back into the team and that. But uh, things happen for a reason, and and it is what it is. Yeah, I guess you had a loan spell back at Burton, of course, and now now with the user. Obviously, you played against the, the user, as you mentioned earlier, you know, a few times in, in your short career so far. And obviously, one of those games being the, an absolute ding-dong battle last last season, the 4-3 game that United won very late on. And you scored a couple of goals in that one as well. So good memories from that, no doubt. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was, really, it was a really good game. I mean, for the fans and for the people that watched it from, from the outside, it was really... Entertaining, not for us at that point in Burton because we didn't take the win. But uh, I, I managed to score a couple of goals, so at the end of the day, it was kind of a good day for me. So good. Good. And turning to, to Tuesday, obviously a great start to the season for for yourself as a as a group. But Tuesday was a bit of a setback. How how, how do you usually cope with, with that kind of adversity, Gasan, as a, as an individual? Do you cope with it well and just want to move move straight onto the next game and obviously look forward to that? Uh, personally, I'll think about it after the game. I'll think about it. What uh, what could I uh, what could I have done better? How the team reacted and everything, but. As soon as I woke up on Wednesday, I was I was just thinking about Saturday. Um, the team, I think, that reacted really well after after being one 0 against Stevenage. You could see in the second half that we really was going for the game. It was a scrappy game. It was a tough game. They were ready for it, but um, I, I I saw that the team and the stadium and the atmosphere and everything was pushing. I mean, everybody was pushing one way, uh, trying to get the result. Um, 
unfortunately we get the one one and and then they score again but I think that um, we'll be seeing the same reaction on Saturday because we won the three points we want to win the game we want to win all the games in the Abbey so that's what we're going to do but it's been a good start to the season, I say, for you scored in, in the opening two league games and you'll be really pleased with not only your performances but to find the back of the net as well against some, some tough, tough opposition defences as well. Yeah, it's, um, it's really good so far, uh, the deliveries and, and the work from my teammates into the box um, for, for making me easier to score and, and, and to affect the game. They've been... They've been really good and hopefully we can keep it going. Yeah, and obviously that's all down to, as you say, the relationships with the, the players around here. Jack Lancaster, you say you know already, obviously James on one side and Seiki, who unfortunately is injured now, on the other. But it's important that those relationships bond and bond quickly to, to help you out spearhead in the attack. Yeah, of course. I think that we've had a, a long time in pre-season and I think that um, since the beginning of the season, when the real thing started, it's been showing up so far. So... It's good.